Chaos has erupted in the city over the past few days with the arrival of Pan Man and the pot heist of the millennium. With people's tensions running high, some are siding with Pothead, while others' patience are running thin. Why hasn't Pothead turned himself in, huh? It's been a while. If this so-called hero cares about the people of this city, he will just simply turn himself in. It's been going on for far too long. Where are the pots? Pants? Pots? What do you know about Pan Man? Oh my fucking god! Interrupted important fucking client meeting to talk about some fucking pots and pans and some guy that calls himself Pan Man? I mean, now that there's no pots around, how the frick am I supposed to cook my ramen noodles now? I mean, is anyone stopping to think about this with a microwave and kettle? Like, what? I am totally in support of Pothead. He has my enduring support. As far as Pan Man, he can keep his pots. He is no match for my Pothead. Pothead has my heart. I was at the bar enjoying my Sunday after taking the bicycle when you met you in your room. I'm just gonna discuss this out here. I wonder why I'm the bad guy. Huh? They took my saute pot, my stock pot, my instant pot, my crock pot, even my Dutch oven. What do you know about Pan Man? I could assume he's a man. Do, do I look like someone who would let himself be employed by someone that calls himself fucking Pan Man? I don't think so. And I was like, whoa! whoa they don't know shit anymore! Pothead sucks! We want our pots back. Have you tried cooking soup in a pan? I need my pots. You ever try feeding four kids out of a frying pan making soup? Come on, Pothead, you're killing me here! He works for Pan. He has to work for Pan. He must work. For Give Pan. us his number. Give me his address. Oh Give us God. his LinkedIn. Give me his MySpace. I do know some things. Fuck this shit. And fuck both of you. <laughs> you are not pretty enough to be on Vogue. All right. Enjoy your free complimentary stay at the Airbnb Inn. Yes. My bag! Somebody help! Ooh, a little early for justice today, isn't it, boys? It's like 3 p.m. I don't think that's exactly early. Oh, come on. It's early for somebody somewhere. And better off, what do we got here? What is it, a little grab and dab, smash and bash, burglary? Or are you one of Pan Man's henchmen? You are the man. Answer him. I don't even know what's in the bag yet. Oh, thank you so much for grabbing my bag. I didn't... Oh, it's you. Oh, you know this guy? <laughs> what are you, girlfriend, boyfriend, just best friends, something like that? Why would you steal your girlfriend's bag? My God, it, it seems kind of weird to me. <laughs> oh, you, you, you think it's funny that you're going to be spending literally the rest of your life behind bars? I, I don't think it's me who's going to be having to worry about being behind bars. Yeah, it's my three o'clock. Something's come up. We can feel the heat, pothead. So you're about to get grilled. I don't think they're here for him. Well, who else could they possibly be after? Get him! Oh, shit. Okay, okay, you look after the robber. I've never seen you run 10 yards before. How are you supposed to get away from them? Worry about him! What did I do to deserve this? You stole me the goddamn last pot there! What's barbecue with outside, pothead? Pothead, more like deadhead. <laughs> Suck on this. <gasps> Are you kidding me? They got weapons? <laughs> oh, 
are you? What? Was that a snowball? It's the middle of summer! Can't go through these woods. It's okay. I know another way. Let's go, 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 go! After you for this amazing slopage game, and really, I'll tell you what, this has been a great slopage. It has been incredible. We, uh, I mean, the fans here have been treated to one heck of a ball game. I mean, we've seen all kinds of things here this afternoon. Uh, things that you don't often see in a slopage. I mean, we've had the same pitcher here all game here, and uh, and and the guy got thrown out at the plate to keep the, the score. Very close here at 29-26. I've just been really impressed with all the pop flies. Oh, you know? like, like I mean, this has been great, right? Yeah, and, you know, and, and one the... inning left, like you said, it's coming down to the wire. And wait, what, what, what do you what see? Is... What's going on? Oh, look, they're cheering for me. Hello. Is that Pothead? It is. Hey, Pothead! Pothead, get, get out of here, guys! Go get, get him! Get off the field! Yeah. Gee, what are you doing here? Oh shit. What the hell? They're throwing balls! Take this back! No, man. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, man. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Are you serious? Couple things for you here. One, uh, when did you get a car? And uh, two, where's your mask? Uh, one, I've always had a car. And two, I, I can't drive without my glasses on. Uh, those people back there, they were pretty riled up. Dude, it's all over the news. People's pots have gone missing and they're all pissed. I mean, it's, it's understandable. The pot is like, you know, the superior kitchen utensil. Dude, can you take this seriously? Those people are so upset with you. I mean, like, how bad could it truly be? It's kind of like Salem out there, my guy. You brought the robber along? Well, yeah, you said he was our responsibility. What else was I supposed to yeah, do? Yeah, he's our responsibility, but that doesn't mean to invite him into your car for a Sunday brunch. Okay, well, he's here now. Doesn't matter. We have more pressing concerns. All right, take a right. What the hell? How'd they catch up to us so quick? What do you mean, catch up to us? Come on, we need to get our pots back. Can't let that pot freak get away. Oh my God, they're following us. Dude, we're in a car chase scene. This is my first car chase. This is a monumental moment in any superhero scrapbook. Dude, can you shut up? I am trying to focus on driving. No, I'm not gonna have my first car chase scene be super lame, my dude. We gotta, we gotta literally, this is like a chance of a lifetime. We gotta embrace it. There's gotta be like car chases, tires spinning, like hit the gas. We gotta make this thing go vroom. I am not speeding. Do you know how high your insurance gets if you get a ticket? I'm not speeding. You know how high your insurance gets if you get a ticket. My God, do you know how lame you sound? You guys are like my parents. Quit this bickering. This is sad. See, even the robber thinks that we're a couple of muffins. Great, now you're agreeing with a criminal. Well, don't let him get away. Hit the gas or something. Gotta obey the rules of the road. 
Don't you dare put that music on. I'm trying to focus. I am not going to have my first chase scene in silence, okay? You know what? There's no way music doesn't even affect your ability to focus on the road. Actually, it's quite common. My partner needs me to turn down the music when they're trying to focus uh, on some stuff. Okay, Dr. Oz, all right? You know, zip it back there, all right? I'm going to find us a real banger that's going to suit the mood and make this just, you know, more intense. If you turn on that music, I swear I will turn this car around. Too late? I'm doing it. <laughs> You're done now, pop boy. When I was a young dog, my father kicked me out into the backyard and told me that I was a mutt. Boom. Row, 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 row. Can you please do a 360 or a drift or at least something cool? I'm going to politely say no to that. How about a 180? No. 720? Hell no. Just for curiosity's sake, did you happen to get your musical library from the dollar store? Who pays for music? Fuck, copyright's a joke. Oh, perfect, a stop sign. Blow this sucker out of the water, we'll lose these punks. I'm not blowing through a stop sign. Could we at least do a rolling stop? A complete stop and nothing else. That's what the law says. I have potatoes that need to be boiled tonight. Oh. So we're not gonna take him to jail if you know what I mean. No, we, we are taking him to jail. Oh, but, but, yeah, no, I mean, we, he, he tried to mug a woman in broad daylight. All right, hit the gas already. No, I'm already going the speed limit. Fine, then I'm gonna hit the gas for you. The hell you are, get your foot away from the pedals. No. Nope. Let go of the wheel. Give me the wheel already, all right? Let I'm... go, you're gonna kill someone. <laughs> we got him now. That corner's a dead end. About a superhero who wears a pot on his head. It doesn't matter if he sucks or if he eats lots of beans cause he's cool like every other kid on the street. He's got a big mask and a big fat ass. Could a wheel Fuck this! Whoa. He was turning right. He had his signal light on. Turn left, turn left. I can't. He is truly a madman. I can't believe that worked! Holy shit, we lost them. Oh my god. <sighs> I mean, like, it was pretty good. There could have been a little bit more explosions, maybe a helicopter, but you know, it's it's all right. It's all right. Dude, are you serious? Without me, your ass would have been a goner. You're just lucky we were getting chased by the neighborhood watch. Hey, you know, the neighborhood watch can be pretty scary, right? Even John Wick's scared of the of the girl guide cookie girls, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, like that one time I stole a case of their cookies. Guys, come on. I thought we were friends. Get everything you can, we're getting you out of here. I don't know why they were so mad at me, man. It was literally like the witch hunt. Like, what a chase, what a rush. Oh, don't break, don't break. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it, my MacBook. We're getting you back to the forest. You can hide out there until everything blows up. Oh, great. Five more years of solitude. Just what I wanted on my goddamn wish list. Oh, this shit's way heavier than I thought. Why did I have to live my life as a pack rat? It's a longer hallway than I thought. <laughs> Do you hear like a mysterious like noise? Yeah, what the hell is that? That is major freaky. How the hell did they find us so quickly? Shit, they've got us surrounded. What, what's the chances that they, we're just in the middle of some weird, like, three-thug love triangle? Yeah, it definitely didn't sound as good once I said that out loud. Well, well, well. If this is the city's most wanted man, God, this feels good. See how the tables have turned. What the hell do you want with us anyways? That's a simple answer. Seems your pot-wearing freak over here is a real hot topic that the entire city Wants to see, well, how do I put this? Returned? Dead? That's probably the best compliment that I've got all day. Shut up! Now this can happen one of two ways. Either you come with us, like a good little mutt, or you leave on a stretcher, still with us. You seem like a reasonable man. How about a little bit of barter, should I say? I'll give you everything in my mystery suitcase, and all you gotta give me in return is let us walk away. 
You think some shitty brown suitcase is gonna persuade the mighty PING MUSKRATS? These guys are really whack. Quiet. Now once we have you in our custody, we can get anything we want. Money, keys to the city, something else. The options are endless. Now, the pink muskrats are not leaving here today without you. Right, boys? Well, if it's a rumble you want, then it's a rumble you'll get. I've been wanting to taste muskrat all my life. Our time is now. Muskrat, charge! What? What the hell? I don't know how you're doing, but I'm getting my ass whooped over here. Oh, I'm not doing so hot either, man. Oh man, I'm going down like the Titanic. <sighs> Might as well go out like a fireworks factory, big and loud. There's nothing you guys can do to stop us. You just had to act the hero. Okay, I'm gonna create a distraction, okay? Somebody's gotta get out of this. I'm not leaving you behind. I'll be the distraction. No, this, this is my problem, right? Someone has to look after the city and it's gonna be you, okay? If I have to get caught, you need to protect them. Hell no. Either both of us get out of here, or neither of us. Idiots! We can hear you. There's nothing you can do to stop us. It would take a miracle. You're not getting away. What was that? You hear that? Ricky, stop screwing around, you little freak. What do you mean, boss? I'm right here. What the hell's going on? How many freaks are there? Oh, he's dead too! Hey man, I'm not turning out of this, I'm out of this. You gotta be kidding me. Fine. If you wanna take on the pink muskrats and walk away? There are thousands of us. One little and you're done! You're toast! The hell with the What the hell did we just witness? It's a ninja from heaven. It's a miracle that we want it. We need it. Unless you two want to get pulled apart like fruit roll-ups, I suggest you come with me. Do you think we should trust them? Or you can wait around for the rest of the pink muskrats to show up. Your choice. Yeah, I, I ain't waiting for that. Yeah, let's get out of here. Jesus. <laughs> yep, this is officially where we die. We're about to be removed from the earth, executed, decapitated, just frickin' straight up ruined. I already told you I'm not going to kill you. I just need to secure the perimeter. Stop with all those pink guys or whoever else you guys dragged around from finding the place. Secure? We're supposed to think this junk heap is secure? More importantly, why should we trust you? Yeah, because who just tried to save your life 15 minutes ago? Oh yeah, that's right, me. That is a very valid point. You could be trying to lull us into a false sense of security so you can turn us into Pan Man yourself. When did you get so good at solving things? Yeah, Joey, you can never solve a problem in math class and all of a sudden you're Sherlock. Uh, who, who's Joey? I don't know any Joey. Who names her kid fucking Joey? Yeah, 
Fuck you. I mean, yeah, that's that's a stupid name. I don't I don't know any Joey. Drop the act, Joey. You're dropping more hints than the North American house hippo. Vanessa from English class. You know who she is? Yeah, well, we're classmates, but what the hell is all this? You can barely raise your hand to ask a question in math. Don't judge a book by its cover. You should know that, Joey. There's a difference between book covers and a shy kid kicking the shit out of an entire gang single-handedly. I suppose that's a valid point. Damn right it is. Okay, first, how do you know I'm Crackboy? Second, what's your connection to Pothead? And third, are you another superhero? What's your deal? So, considering there are at least 10,000 people that want his head on a planner right now, I think I'm gonna have to be brief. So, first of all, you kind of suck at hiding your true identity. You came to school wearing your superhero shoes one day, you're always wearing red and black, even those pens you use in class, red and black. A little variation, please. And, like, that binder of pothead memorabilia that you have, that's so creepy. It's so creepy. And, like, you know, you're always running out when there's a crime on the news. That's a little bit suspect. Dang, she really got you. Shut up. That was a lucky guess. Well, okay. So, now the reason why I kick ass is because my dad owns a dojo, so he taught me how to kick ass while I was growing up. He was also the one who introduced me into comics and superheroes. And like, as much as I really don't like to admit that I like superheroes, I really do love superheroes. And as much as I loved watching you and Pothead's little adventure, I wasn't about to join in the fight to save the city until Pan Man decided to steal everybody's pots. And because of these missing pots. That's why? I mean, uh, a pot's a pot. I'd do it. You guys can't even begin to understand how important these pots are. I had spent over five years tracking down a rare old archaeological pot full of a rare type of metal called titanium to use in the mother of all experiments. But now that those pots are missing, I have to get back what's mine. And that's literally everything you need to know. But what is your superhero name? That's the most important question. A heroine. Oh, oh, you should not mess with that stuff. That stuff will literally ruin your life. I kid you not. No, not heroine. Like, heroine, as in female hero. I don't get it. Okay, let's actually address the problem here. Because currently the entire city is looking for this guy. I mean, I'm Mr. Popular. What can I say? <laughs> the way I see it is if we ever want to leave our houses ever again, we're going to have to get all the pots back. When you say it like that, it does sound pretty serious. That's what I've been trying to tell you all day. Luckily, since I'm the responsible one, I already have a plan. All right, Megamind, let's hear it. Okay, so hear me out. What's the most popular food that people cook in a pan? Grilled cheese, steaks? No. Eggs. Everyone cooks eggs in a pan. We can safely assume that eventually the pan man himself will need to cook eggs in his mighty pan. We bug every carton of eggs in the city. Eventually, one will be bought by pan man or one of his henchmen. Then we get the info from him. We can triangulate his position, infiltrate his base, recover the stolen pots, kick his ass, and clear Pothead's name. Lame! <laughs> the hell do you mean lame? You probably weren't even listening. Oh, oh, trust me, I was listening, all right, Mr. Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shut up, like you have anything better. Oh my god, please don't even ask him. Well, since you guys are inquiring, I actually do have a plan, all right? So you know how Pan Man stole all the pots to get Pothead? Well, what if we steal all the city's pans to get Pan Man? Oh, real original, just do exactly what he did. No, it's not exactly what he did. This is, this is completely different, okay? Because then we'll hijack the news stations and we'll get on there and I'll say, if you ever want your pans back, then you better give us Pan Man on a silver platter. That is literally, word for word, exactly what Pan Man did. No, 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 it is not because there's a major difference. Because once we then get all of these pans in our possession, we go to a volcano and then we melt all the fucking volcano pans down into the magical forge in the lava and it comes out and we create pot warriors, which we then storm Pan Man's base with, steal all of the pots back and then whop, kick his ass. Everyone lives another happy goddamn life. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just take the melted down pans and make them into pots to give back to the city? 
um, because a pan and a pot are two extremely different things. You can't just make one out of the other. Why is that the part I'm questioning? Your plan literally had a volcano in it. And you can confidently tell us where to find said volcano. Oi. I know where to find a volcano. See, we got a guy who knows where a volcano is. The plan is flawless. How the fuck did you get in here? Apples to apples, dos to dos. If you want a great plan, following me is a must. We camp out behind my favorite restaurant, the Ole Dipper, in the dumpster. Around 6.13 p.m., the chef will bring out a fresh batch of burnt hash browns. Oh, my favorite. But before he throws them away, I jump out and scare him and yell, Give me the hash browns! He will then proceed to yell at me, threaten me. That's when you guys jump out, knock him the fuck out, take his clothes and his underwear, toss him in the river. I'll grab the delicious hash, sweet, sticky hash, while you put on his clothes and sneak into the restaurant. Then, oh, and then, you can get me my favorite sauce, the dick. Double dip and deal sauce. Bring it to me. <laughs> then you clowns will work there every day for the rest of your life and bring me all the hash and dee, 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 dee. Oh, I can handle. Yeah, 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 get this guy out of here? Oh my god, this has to be the worst. Does said restaurant have any beans? You only need to ask what kind of beans they have, Paul. Hey! That's the one. That's the one. We cannot go wrong with this plan. It's foolproof. I'm using my veto. Plan's locked in. No, that is not the one. Yes. Yeah. Ha! We start on Monday. I can taste the beans already. No, we do not start Monday. That is not the plan. I never agreed to this. No, actually, that might just work. Oh God, not you too. No, 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 like not, not his plan exactly, but I do have a plan that'll get you and you exactly what you want. You get all the hash that you want and you can get your freedom back. Sounds good to me, lassie. Looks like we got ourselves a party. Count me in. Can't be worse than everything else I've heard today. Okay, so here's the plan. 